its aim here is to take a surface that's been designed in software that isn't Trimble Business Center and get it ready to use in Trimble Earthworks. The plan is to put the data onto a USB and physically visit site and import it manually into the Trimble Earthworks screen. So we'll start by creating a new project on a, a blank template. I'm assuming whoever's created my design has done so in meters and also on the correct grid that we're, we're used to working with. Um, so you'll notice on the left hand side I have my project explorer. There's nothing in there. If you don't have project explorer, this little icon up the top will toggle it on and off. It's quite helpful when we start importing and exporting data. So if I click on import, if you're used to using multiple monitors, um, it might catch you out the first time. It does take a wee bit to get used to, but it's rather straightforward. Down the right hand side, it will automatically open your last known folder on your computer. These three dots here is where you specify what folder you want to go looking in. So if I click on this Topcon folder, hit OK, that folder then opens up down the right hand side. Click on the three dots again, <clears throat> go back to my Trimble folder, hit OK, and all my files appear down here. <coughs> so I'm going to import the surface that was sent to me, this XML file. The great thing about getting your designs sent to you in Land XML, software like Trimble Business Center will automatically pull that triangulated surface and separate it from any other layers and it will be recognized as a model or a surface. So select triangle based definition, hit import, and you'll notice down the left hand side that that surface will be recognized straight away in surfaces. Alan's house. So working along the top, we're going to do most of our work in the construction data tab. Select into here, and we want to create a job site. So into job site and create a new site. So I'm going to call this Alan's estate. Okay. And the top one project library type none, hit select, and then we're going to change it to folder. You can change it again if you want. I'm quite happy I'm going to work in Alan, Alan's estate. If you had a local calibration DC file that someone sent to you, you could import it into here. Um, same with if you had control points that you wanted to export as control, you can import them here. But on this occasion, I just want to get my design um, out of here. So I'm going to close that. Next to job sites at the top, we have create design. Go into there, and this is what the Trimble Earthworks is going to read our surface as. So I'm going to call my design um, Alan says FL, press OK. And you'll notice it's got model type as none. So press edit, and then I'm going to tell it it's a surface. The surface it's automatically reading is this Allen's house in here. So if I hadn't imported that, when I got to this stage, surface would be blank. So it's asking me to have it pre-imported. I'm happy with all my file names, so I'm just going to press OK again. Design map, I'm going to ignore setting out points. Design map is what your operator is going to see when they're driving about. So at the moment, the operator on this is just going to have a sort of flat shape, the same as this. If your site had, say, access roads coming in here, plots, trees, channels, whatever it may be, you can say um, in your design map, hit this plus minus, options, select all. It will select your site plan so that way that your operator has a nice visual to know exactly where they are on their site, but I don't really have any additional line work. That design map can just be CAD, CAD lines, poly lines, whatever. Um, quite nice. If you press OK to that, 
and then just close it off. So we've now created our design or attached that design to this folder. The next step is to work in this publish data. It's quite easy to get mixed up. In an ideal world, you want to be using Works Manager. Works Manager is where Trimble allow you to send data from your laptop straight to the Earthworks machine without anyone visiting site. Um, it's like a yearly license. On this, I'm not going to use it. In a perfect world, everyone does or should look to use it. I'm going to publish this to library. Click on here, straight away is recognizing um, my design, which is good. And if I go to designs, it's got a tick in it. So I'm just going to hit um, publish three. And it's saying the following items were successfully exported control point sitemap. I didn't actually have any control points on this. It's just automatically reading a default of, of zero. So that data is nearly ready now to go into my USB. All I need to do is on your file explorer, navigate to your C drive. And in your C drive, you'll have a folder called project library. When you open that, you'll have projects and all your different projects that you've done in Trimble Business Center following that workflow we just looked at will appear in here. So if I go into Alan's estate, office data, you'll see I've got a design folder, Alan's house FL, that's what I called this design. And it's a DSZ file. So those familiar with older GCS 900, when you were working with your SVD and SVL, it's just in this single DSZ file. So if your dozer or excavator has previously been working on site and has its coordinate systems all set, that there should be good enough to just go into the Earthworks file, um, Earthworks panel and import. If it's the first time that it's being used on your site, similar to the old system, you need to add an additional folder in here called geodata, laid out like that. And then inside the geodata folder, you have to put um, Trimble's um, OSTN files. So you'll have your SGF and your GGF file. And then in with your project design, so in here, you'd want to put your CAL file, um, either a local coordinate um, transformation or Trimble standard one. From here, you can basically copy the project library. So copy that whole folder, just hit copy, go to your USB and paste it. That's it ready now to plug in to Trimble Earthworks panel. Plug it in, go to main, op, main menu, navigate to transfer files. In transfer files, you want to select design from USB to panel, um, hit go, and it should read that design automatically. Um, if you have any problems with the USB, it may need Android formatted. In that case, um, I formatted mine getting a USB to USC cable, putting the USB-C in the bottom of my Android phone, plugging a USB into it, then going to settings, device storage, finding the USB, going settings format. Sometimes it may require that depending on what USB you're, you're working with.